So that would be your 14 carat. And uh, in your 14 carat, you have 10.97 grams. There you have 198.86. Isn't that great? Yes. Yeah. With the price of gold being over $1,700 an ounce, now is a great time to sell some of that old jewelry that is sitting in your jewelry box at home. But how do you know that you are getting the best monetary value for your gold? Helen Trockumchuk is a purchaser for the Gold Exchange in Thunder Bay, and she explains what you should sell. All types of gold, whether it's broken, whether it's coins or, or jewelry, um, stuff they no longer want or wear. Uh, yeah, we don't recommend you part with sentimental pieces, you keep those, but there's a lot of things you have in your jewelry box that no one's going to want. And um, you can turn them in for cash and, and it really, really adds up quickly. Gold is priced according to its purity. So 18 carat, which is 75% gold, is worth more than 10 carat, which is 41% gold. People often have a lot of stuff in their jewelry box, they're not even sure if it is gold. And I just recommend, you know what, if you're not sure, we can quickly sort out what is gold and what isn't. And, uh, you know, and recommend what you should do with pieces that, that maybe you shouldn't part with. When you bring your gold in, it can be tested in different ways, using a magnet, a gold tester, and by checking the markings on the jewelry itself. Helen suggests bringing your gold to an established business that is rooted in the community. She warns against going to someone from out of town who is just renting a room at a hotel and definitely think twice about putting your gold in the mail. The problem with mailing it away is that, uh, first of all, you're not sure, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't even sure of the, the types of gold they bought, whether they got 14 carat, 10 carat, 18 carat. They're not sure of the weight, uh, so they're sending it away. Um, they're trusting that uh, the company on the other end is going to, um, you know, look after them in their best interests, and you really don't know that. Um, it's, it's just a matter of trust. Helen also warns against leaving your gold anywhere. It should be sorted and weighed in front of you. There is no minimum or maximum to what you can bring into exchange, whether it is one ring that you don't wear anymore or a pile of broken chains and earrings. Gold is, is, is a material that through the ages has been valued. Now people are really starting to see that even if it's not something they want to continue wearing, they can, it is extremely valuable. You can cash it in. People are thrilled at the payout. Like it, it adds up very quickly. So go and dig around in your jewelry box. What you find may be worth a lot more than you think. Keep in mind that businesses like the Gold Exchange may suggest that you make an appointment. Reporting in Thunder Bay, I'm Janice Gummison. Your gold comes to 739.41, and we'll get you a check ready right away. So thanks so much for coming in.